Modern cars on the road these days rely on several advanced driver assistance systems to keep us safer on the road. But those systems can be useless if your windshield hasn't been properly calibrated. Tony has more in today's all new Behind the Wheel. If you drive your car long enough, most of its components will need to be replaced. Things like tires and brakes. But the same is also true for your windshield if you get a rock chip. If you don't take care of rock chips, average windshield lasts about 18 months in the Northwest. The second you get a rock chip, the clock starts ticking. Rock chip is most successful at about the size of a quarter, sometimes a half dollar. Once you get out past that, you're into long crack repair, which is often not successful and would be a replacement. Replacement as in the complete replacement of your entire car windshield. But new glass is just step one. The next is windshield calibration, although that is a bit of a misnomer. Your car's windshield is just glass, but it's the tiny camera at the heart of your car's advanced driver assistance systems looking through that glass that actually needs calibration. Anytime you're changing the height, the angle, or the alignment of that camera system requires calibration to make sure that every time those systems go off, they're working properly. Those systems include life-saving technology that can literally take over control of your car. Things like lane keep assistance, and forward collision avoidance. Those are features that actually have the ability to take over steering, take over braking, and take over acceleration in some cases, like vehicles that have adaptive cruise control. So unless you're driving something like this 1950 Baby Blue MG or something equally vintage or classic, your car likely has some level of driver assistance technology. No car's current date can get a five-star safety rating without having advanced driver assistance systems. If you've ever tried on someone's prescription glasses and been instantly disoriented, that's basically what's happening to your car's driver assistance systems if your windshield isn't properly calibrated. Most of the time, it's not obvious until it's too late. Calibration can take from three to five hours, and it can add a few hundred dollars to your final bill. We see about 50-50 with insurance companies and customer pay. It really depends on the customer and how their insurance is set up. Of course, this work should only be done by a certified calibration specialist. I've been through many trainings over the years, but it's always a continued learning process with each new vehicle comes out, learning each new specification from the manufacturer. That training is crucial because each car maker has slightly different specifications when it comes to calibration. The specs and even the names for the technology are constantly changing, but the need for calibration remains the same. I feel better when I see the little trapezoid cut out in my rearview mirror from the car behind me because I know the likeliness of them rear-ending me if they aren't paying attention is less. I do think this technology, each step along the way, these are making vehicles safer on the road. Interesting story. Yeah. And there'll only be more and more of this because the cars are getting more and more advanced. Yeah. But I think the main takeaway is that if you do get your windshield replaced and they say we need to calibrate this, they're not trying to rip you off. Yeah. I mean, it's a legitimate the necessary thing. necessary. Yeah, thing and have otherwise the, the systems don't work properly. The analogy so, of yeah. the glasses, putting someone else's glasses yeah. on, yeah. is so good. I was a great idea. <laughs> no, because everybody's done yeah. that at one point yeah. or another, yeah. right? You go, Whoa, I mean, just, hey, yeah. well, you're really blind. Yeah. So and I think back to high school when I was, there would be, uh, you know, classmates that knew how to work on their cars and fix their cars. Yeah. Now that's practically impossible uh, to do yeah. unless you have, I mean, yeah. like. Well, like he's Everything. saying, I mean, yeah. it's constantly evolving and, yeah. and more quickly than ever. So well, you have to be... Well, that he's constantly going through training, yeah, right? Exactly. Yeah. 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 Wow, great information, Tony. It's like a car Thank doctor. You. Yes, he is. <laughs> <laughs> Kai's going to love you. I love that. Let's take a look around.